Welcome back. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn those notifications on. Today, we're gonna to be checking out some beef jerky. It's actually the Max jerky. It was sent over by Max and Sophia. They just started a beef jerky company and I'm really excited to check out their flavor. If you don't know who Max Meat Guy is, he has an amazing YouTube channel, Instagram, TikTok, and Sophia is his sister, amazing cameraman, and helps him run the channel. Zach, you ready to try this jerky? I'm so excited. All right, let's open it up. It's my favorite snack on, on a road trip. It is. When me and Zach go on a road trip, when we film anywhere, we stop at a gas station, Zach always gets a humongous bag of jerky. Never shares it with me. Either. He's over exaggerating. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't think I am. All right, before I open this up, I've gotta say, you guys killed it with the packaging. I love the black all around. You have branding on each side. So you got like artisan quality on this side. Global flavors, global flavors, small batch. Low and slow, baby. And most importantly, low and slow, baby. Yeah. Let's open it. You gotta admit, that's pretty sick. That's pretty What's cool. that? Oh, mm -hmm. looks like we got some cards. Oh, oh cards you guys are so sweet. All right, we got a card from Max and Sophia. Hey Manny, it's always such a blast hanging and filming together. And I really appreciate everything you do for me and Sophia. Hope you like the jerky and looking forward to the next one, Max. Thank you, Max. And from Sophia, Manny, thank you so much for always having my back and helping me with filming, camera equipment, server craziness, literally everything. Hope to see you soon and hope you enjoy the jerky. Sophia, I really appreciate the cards. Oh, we got a little info card here. Zach, you wanna read this one? What's up? The recipes in this box are a culmination of my journey in life and food. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for the support. All right, now we have the main event. Let's open this up. Ooh. Oh, look at this. Texas barbecue? We got Texas barbecue. Okay. Montreal maple burnt ends. Bacon burnt ends. Ooh, sounds good. Szechuan chili crisp. That sounds like your kind of flavor. Yeah, chicken jerky. And what's the last one, Zach? We got New York buffalo chicken jerky. The presentation is on point, guys. This is sick. All right, let's move this off to the side. And let's try this jerky. All right, Zach, close your eyes. Close your, your eyes closed? Yeah. Right, I'm gonna shuffle these up. All right, pick one. For our first one, we're gonna try the... Szechuan chili crisp. All right, let's rip open our first flavor. I think we have to do a smell test first. Zach, how hey, you smell it first? Oh, that smells really good. <laughs> it smells really good. It smells good. gas. All right, let's try it. Same time? Yeah. Good. Oh, you just tried it. Not really. I can't really taste it. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Let's go. Oh, you bet. I take the whole piece. The whole piece? Mm -hmm. I'm getting a very good chili flavor. I think a subtle sweetness. No, it's this. It's like a sweet chili. Is that when you say it's spicy? No. Not you? No, no, no. Mm -mm. So it's more of a sweet chili than a spicy chili. I'm not mad at it though. No. I will say the jerky makes you really thirsty. I did already take a sip of water. Oh, wow, you're going for the whole thing. Overall, I'd say it's a slightly mild, spicy, sweet, salty, flavorful jerky. Also want to say this is the first time I've ever had chicken jerky. Same. Right, Zach? I I've never had chicken jerky and it's way better than I thought it would be. It was really good. For some reason, I thought it wouldn't be as tender as beef jerky, but it's just as smooth as any good beef jerky I've had before. Let's move on to the next flavor. All right, Zach, what should we do next? Um, since we just did a chicken one, let's switch it up and let's do the bacon burnt ends. We're going to do the Montreal maple next. All right, Zach, open it up. All right, I'll smell, first. I'll smell first. Oh my God. Yo, straight maple syrup. That smells like straight maple syrup. I've got to say this smells good, but this smells even better by like a large margin. Not that this smells bad. This just smells amazing. I want to have pancakes now. I want to have pancakes too. I can smell it from over here. Oh, it has like the spice level on the back. Something we just noticed on every bag, it's kind of cool here. It has a spice level on the back. If you look, it's kind of discreet. This is low. And our last one was medium. All right, Zach, let's grab a piece. Okay. All right, cheers. Let's go. I ate the whole thing. You ate the whole thing? Mm -hmm. Or the rest? I also never had bacon burnt end jerky, and I'm thoroughly impressed with how well it tastes. I gotta say, I've only ever had beef jerky, and they have a variety of stuff. They have chicken, they have bacon. I'll show this up close to the camera. This is a really interesting jerky. You get your meat here, and then you get a slab of fat, which is full of flavor. I've only tried two, and this is my favorite one so far. Zach, what do you think? This is my favorite one so far also. It smells Can't go so wrong good. with bacon. You can never go wrong with bacon. Bacon makes everything better. Okay, on to the next flavor. Zach, what are we doing next? I think we go a little spicy and do the New York Buffalo. Okay. It's another chicken jerky. 
The spice level on this one's medium, so it's the same level as the Szechuan chili one we tried earlier. Let's rip it open. All right, smell test, you smell first. One thing I love about how each of these smell is it doesn't smell artificial. A lot of things these days in the food world, they'll say it's flavored by something, it don't taste like that, but the, the smell is just off. It smells like chemicals. This just smells completely natural. It has that classic buffalo orange, orange color, yeah. right? It's got that orange tint. It's yeah. another chicken jerky, so I'm yep. interested to see how this is gonna taste. I wonder if the texture's gonna be the same as the Szechuan. Yeah, I like the texture of that one, so I'm hoping for the same texture. All right, let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers for the third time. Uh -huh. Would you agree that the buffalo flavor isn't overpowering? It isn't, I was just about to say. It's not. also not spicy. It's not really spicy at all. Not at all. You're getting spice? It's more of a flavor than a spice. Mm -hmm. Before I try this, I thought the buffalo flavor would be stronger, but I kind of like that it's subtle, but it's definitely still there. You taste it in every bite. Okay, we have one flavor left. What is it, Zach? It is a Texas barbecue. This is the only beef jerky. So we saved the beef jerky for last. Yep. Obviously out of all the flavors, this is the most classic attempt at beef jerky here. It's beef, which is the most common meat you'll find in beef jerky. This one has a mild spice level. I don't think any of them are over spicy. I'm no. gonna take a guess and say that if this one's mild and the other were medium, that none of them are probably too spicy. All right, rip it open. I'll smell it this time. Let me just sniff. Right as you smell it, you get that peppery, smoky smell of classic jerky. All right, let's grab a piece. Zach? Oh, I like these. Oh, these feel like kind of soft. These feel amazing. These feel awesome. Check out the seasoning on this. You can see what I assume is pepper, and it's super tender. It's just bending because it's so soft. Final cheers. All right, let's try it. I like that. Oh, yeah. You can never go wrong with the classics. Mm hmm. It's really good. I think it was pepper. I'm yeah. getting a little peppery taste. Yeah. I think the chicken jerky might have been a little bit more tender. I don't know. I kind of disagree. Can we disagree? Yeah. And it wasn't even that it was less tender, it was just like, the chicken's more of a dry, yeah. lean jerky. Not that it's chewy. I mean, beef has a different texture than chicken. Not even fair to compare the two, to be honest. It's a great take on a classic jerky flavor. It's sweet, it's got that little smokiness to it. it. You can really taste the pepper, you can see the pepper. I have to agree with everything Zach said. All right, now that me and Zach have both tried them, we're gonna tell you our rankings. I'm gonna tell you which ones I think taste the best from one to four, and Zach would do the same. In first place for me, I have to give it to this Montreal maple. It's unique, it melts in your mouth, and it just stood out to me the most out of all the flavors. I've never had anything like it. In second place, I'm actually gonna have to go with the Texas barbecue. It's just a great version of a classic jerky flavor, and they pull it off and it just tastes natural, clean, and it's full of flavor. In third place, I'm gonna have to go with the buffalo. I've never had chicken jerky, and this made me really fall in love with it. Amazing flavor, it's subtle, but it's there, and it's unique. This by no means was bad at all. It just wasn't my favorite out of the four. The other ones were outstanding, and this is great, it's just not my favorite. All right, now it's Zach's turn. Zach, what do you think? Okay, so I'm gonna have to agree with you that this is easily the best one right, that Zach's we had today. That's copying me. Okay, relax, relax. But I have to, I mean, it's hard not to it choose was, it. It's hard not to choose it. I love maple syrup, and this brought me back to my pancake days. So Fair I enough. am Fair gonna enough. have to go with this one at number one. In second place, I'm gonna have to go with the New York Buffalo Chicken Jerky. Reason being is buffalo wings are one of my favorite appetizers, and the buffalo on these, it's not overpowering. And it reminds me of a great chicken wing at a restaurant. In third place, I'm gonna have to go with the Texas Barbecue. This was a great flavor. Uh, the only reason the other two are above this is because they're more unique. I've never had jerky like that. So that's why this one's coming in third place. And for my fourth choice, I'm gonna have to go with the Szechuan Chili Crisp, just like Manny. I'm putting this one in my fourth spot because I think the other chicken jerky tasted a lot better. And I didn't wanna put both of the chicken jerkies back to back. All right, so that concludes me and Zach's favorite jerkies out of the batch here. They're all amazing flavors. You gotta check these out, Try pick it up. I'll put it in the description below if you wanna check them out. That's all for today. Me and Zach are gonna sit here and munch more on this jerky, but we will see you soon.